I wonder what we're gonna teleport in, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below what you think our play is good. I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's all bullseye. <laughs> yeah, we got this guy. <laughs> First, we have to get more treats. Yes. As many treats as possible. <laughs> Die! That's 22 damage just from this flick! <laughs> What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing a Stomp It On Science deck. Here's the combo. Stomp It On will grow every single card in your hand by 1-1 one, one every time you draw a card. And that will combo very well with Gadget Scientist that's making all of your science zombies do a bonus attack. So you're going to have these massive guys and the when you play Gadget Scientist, this will do four attack and even just your little uh, two attack guys are going to be doing four and you can burst them down uh, in one turn. So there's going to be sort of two ways of playing this deck. One is to build up your science cards. You can play, let's say, your... Uh, zombie middle manager, a good turn one play, because, you know, they, even if they remove this, they haven't really answered it since you've already conjured another card. You go with your genetic experiment, which is very cool because it's a science card that grows naturally. You can then protect it, let's say, with a healthy trait. You can use going virals. You can build up this big science-y board. Um, play your going virals to make your things frenzy, and then just finish them off all in one turn by playing gadget scientists, since you've probably done plenty of damage. Even before that, this will work as a good finisher. You can also just slow play the deck. Hold the cards in your hand, control with your Rolling Stone, maybe like just use your Middle Managers and your Cosmic Scientist, which is a science card, a bullseye card. It's very good with Gadget Scientist, but it also conjures you something. Uh, this will be a very good card to trigger the Dino of your Stompadon. But basically, you're stalling uh, in the first couple of turns, teleporting in your Stompadon, let's say on turn four or five or playing your Stomp Down on turn 5 together with Middle Manager, and then sort of swarming your science already buffed science cards onto the board, and then finishing them off with Gadget Scientist, um, or just fi finishing them off with Going File. If you have a big board in your Stomp Down, Dino Roar has triggered a few times. Um, it's going to be very easy to finish them off with Going Viral, which grows your entire board and makes everything have Frenzy. Uh, the card I'm going to be trying today is Trick or Treater, so this can, not only, this can work with both strategies. Uh, obviously, the conjuring of these traits is going to trigger your Dino Roar uh, an extra time, uh, and that will be making all the cards bigger, but the treats themselves, especially the Sugary Tree that adds three attack, will make things bigger. Adding a Sugary Tree onto something and then just hitting them with a Gadget Science is an assured way uh, to finish off opponents. Uh, we'll see how that does. We'll see if the uh, Cosmic Scientists are worth it, or maybe this is just a little bit too expensive. For a conjure, we'll keep an eye on this too. There's a whole lot of cards you can run, like more card draw. Uh, anything from Kite Flyer to Gatekeeper, which are both science cards that grow things. I was thinking of running Teacher, but I feel like since this deck is going to be played a little bit slowly usually, so maybe Teach Zombology Teacher, but maybe Zombology Teacher and more tricks would be better. We're going to uh, definitely open to make changes as this goes on. Let's try this science experiment. Uh, we're going to get right into the games over here. Uh, we should have time for 10 games. These, these, this deck should, should go pretty fast. So, let's say if this deck wins 7 out of 10, it's going to be a yes. 6 out of 10 is going to be a no. I'd be happy with 6 out of 10, though. Uh, Benning our fry is over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash from up. So, 7 is a yes. 6 out of 10. So, no. Here we go. So, here's two... Teleportation Zombies into Stompadon. I think this hand is fine, because you can Teleportation Zombie onto block, Chump block something on turn 3 with a second Teleportation Zombie. Chumpsilla has no answer to Gravestones, so we'll have actually a sure Teleported in Stompadon on turn 4, and then an immediate uh, Cosmic Scientist on turn 5, so this should be fine. You and I... They'll actually have both of these now, which is ridiculous. I'm gonna play this just dry. Uh, we really sort of wanna... Okay, well, we have heal. We kind of need to play around the... The Chandela Super. I don't know if I can afford to. It's really sad if he supers this right now, but... If he had Holoflora, but heal and Scorchy would not have played. 
He probably doesn't have Holo Floral. He plays that on turn two. I'm not going to play around it. Having this Gravestone here to jump block this lane is really important. I really hope he doesn't have, again, his ultimate. Oh my gosh. So the opponent's off to a really, really strong start. And uh, tell, I guess I'll teleport in Stompadon into lane two to at least mitigate this really strong Podfather here. And then we'll go from there, I guess. We have blocks. We have some health in our hand. This is going to be a come from behind game. Let's see how we do. So it's definitely stomping on in two. And uh, I, I think we can make the comeback. Chop! That's a pretty good chop. Killing a really big minion back there. And the stomping on is rolling. Uh, unfortunately, you know what? I should not have chopped. We can only trigger the Stompin' on one time now, which is very sad indeed. I'll play like you. Opp opponent probably won't have a way of dealing two damage anyway, so the going viral should activate. We should be okay here. It's a little bit more card draw. We can set these up. What's that? This only has two attack. So, Stompadon actually lives with the going viral here. There's the super power he had. Really fortunate that he just had healing and not something a little bit more removal or offensive. We have like a rocket now. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good about this game now. This Stompadon is. I don't know why he didn't put. He should have really put the Black Eyed P here just to be able to play around us buffing Stompadon. That was a huge misplay by him. But now, I mean, look at this now. So we can go like 4 1. Woo! I kind of want to rocket this. We don't really have to. We can always just do that next turn. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to play this 6 8. <laughs> Let's play this. Play you, and I'll, I don't know. I'll just heal, whatever. Our hand now, we have so much stats. It's kind of ridiculous. That triggered two Dino Roars. Look at this hand. Yeah, bye! <laughs> See ya! <laughs> we were worried for a minute there. No way, bro. I mean, this deck will excel against decks that don't really run removal, which he was running zero removal. He's just running Podfather and a bunch of peas. So, uh... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Got him. He didn't like the one cost five six trigger two dinovers. They didn't like that. God damn. That was harsh. So far so good. Oh, how do we do this? I don't think you ever keep gadget in your starting hand, even though that could end up being a good finisher. Is this good? I don't know. Let's see how Niddle Manager... Let's see how the Cosmic Scientist... I'm not sure about this card, man. Anyway. Did we have a daily challenge recently where we played into Podfather with a Stompadon deck? <laughs> Sounds familiar for some reason. I think I'm gonna go Teleportation Zombie. It'll allow us to play more defensively next turn. We can teleport in a gravestone. And again, if he kills this with like a hammer or berry blast plus banana bomb, I'm actually to totally cool with that. Because it's just slowing down the game and it means the sa the, the Stompadon's going to be better. We're looking for a, maybe a second teleportation zombie now. Uh, this should be pretty good though. Because it's going to put a big minion on the field and... Basically, it doesn't even cost a card. We'll just buff this now. He might have another hammer. Probably doesn't. This is If he doesn't have another hammer, this is going to be a nightmare for him to, to deal with. In fact, I could just set up Stomp it on right now, and he's going to have to make a decision. I think that's right. I should have ran Terrify in this deck. I know, right? <laughs> Stop it on terrifying. Such synergy. Wow, he swallows this instead of swallowing the Stop it on for some reason. Not so sure about that. I think I'm gonna save 
this treat though because we'd like to really use it to act reactivate this card. So we're gonna play two for starters. Oh look at the gadget growing now. And it's gonna be three and one. Oh my gosh. Bullseye Plank Walker, okay. So this four five wins the trade. That's awesome. I think he's gonna regret not killing this duck because he had cute. Okay, I guess that makes sense. Let's see if we can get like more of the sugary tree. Yes. That'll be more useful with the gadget, but we have like little mini trickster in our hand. It's almost well he has eight. <laughs> yeah. Not even close. I wish there was a way to play around like, I don't know. I don't want to play too hard into Cuke here. Let's play this card, which is very strong. And, like, we can chop if he plays a big card. He, he could have, like, Colonel Corrin on turn 8. He's definitely playing some sort of control deck. I'm just playing the 6-3, not because I expect him to play, you know, Para Paradise Molokel in this turn. It's more just because it doesn't die to Cuke and to Colonel Corrin. And, uh, again, Colonel Corrin we chop, and then we Plank Walker next year. I think we're fine against Colonel Corrin here. We have the... 7-7 seven, seven Bullseye Plankwalker in hand. Plankwalker into Gadget ain't bad either. Plankwalker will probably just go in the ground. Just so it's hard to deal with. Wow. So that's a chop. I mean, we don't have to chop that. We could just like... I mean, am I playing Plankwalker here? Well, the Plankwalker makes one fewer minions. What if I sugary? No. What if I sugary treated instead? Then Plank Walker makes three guys. It, this basically dies for free, but then we lose this. But is this crazy? It's kind of crazy, isn't it? This will basically die to two damage for coming in from the Plank Walker spawned minion next turn anyway. So we're losing a three four, and but we're maintaining a we're maintaining a chop. In a hand where this guy has got to play a lot of late game. I think he's running Molokale though? Oh no, I should have killed this and let the case of Molokale. Well... I guess I have to play around Molokale. I didn't think of that. I should have chopped that. This would have been so much safer. I could just gadget it right now, but that's sad. I messed up. I messed up. I forgot about playing around Molokale. This turns into Great Zucchini. The Great Zucchini. I think I'm just gonna go and kill this. Since that's more or less the only way he has back into this game. Even Colonel Corn, it doesn't kill this guy. It's okay. It's really sad using the powerful gadget scientist like that, but whatever. It does f definitely feel like a mall. Yeah, it's definitely a Molokale deck. So I should have chopped it, but doing this at the end of the day, I think, is correct. Setting it up. Uh, it might be going for double kernel, too. Are you doing five to his face? Man, a teleportation zombie would be really cool into this plank walker here. I wonder if I just need more teleports in this deck. I feel like I've been begging my, for another teleport the whole game. It's probably always just going to be double Colonel Corn here, so there's no point in plank walking it, right? And if he doesn't do that play, we're just going viral and just win that way. Oh, I should have botanist. You're right, duh. Whoops! So stupid. <laughs> I won trillion, gazillion, quadrillion percent should have played botanist, obviously. And the fact that you guys are saying you're putting the feel bad man in the chat, you're a hundred percent right. I goofed. Done goofed. Uh, I actually, well, 
I have to chop that, right? We're doing a ton of damage here, which is very cool. This is already beyond double kernel corn. Uh, I think I can get this one beyond too. Awesome. The double, yeah, and a double kernel corn play on effect. The chat saw it, and I did not. Botanist obviously into the parents to play. Of course. Of course it is. Fail. The yeah, you can see this. It was BM! <laughs> no, it was not BM. I just didn't. I should have. I don't know why. I don't know, man. I don't yeah. run. I never run botanist in every any deck ever. I, I, I it's just the 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 text of botanist have completely eluded me. It's the real. That's just a lack of experience. Says the guy playing this game every day for the last seven years. <laughs> I don't think that's flashy enough to be in a fail comp, but it was definitely a fail enough to be in a fail comp. Uh, I like the rolling sound. Let's see if we can get like a card draw card or something. Is this an anti-heal solution? No. Would this deck be good against heal? Maybe it would. Maybe I should slow play the, the crap out of this. Well, I have to play around Twin Sunflower. You don't play Twin... You don't play Teleportation Zombie into Solar Heroes on turn two. It's just, there's too many Twin Sunflowers. Not worth it. You and uh, I kind of want to wait till turn six to do this. Do I just slow play the crap out of this for real? I think I do. Yeah, this is a nice scientist, I know, right? Here we go. I'm still slow playing this, I don't care. This is happening on five. I'm not doing anything this turn. I can kill whatever I want. Any of these turns here. <laughs> I love slow playing Rose. The, the turn six is going to be... Well, I'll at least play Teleportation Zombie. So the Brainana is not the end of the world. Oh, look, we got the gadget. I feel like this might be the real way to play this deck. It's just... Take it slow. They'll probably remove this, but it's okay. It's a removal card. That is gone. And we have we have at least one stomp of the uncharge. So we'll get two stomp of the uncharges. Minimum. I'd love to get one more like middle manager cosmic scientist. That's totally fine. So here's this. Yeah, <laughs> this rose. Come on, Rose. What are you controlling for? What is this even about? So there's a buff. Here's another one. That's a very cool kitchen sink. I, I, I'm still gonna play around Brainetta and friends. Let's do this. We can go in viral. We can do a lot of things this turn. Turns that into a goat. That's totally fine. I don't need that anymore. What is this for? He killed the goat. Great. And he's trying to heal. Uh, <laughs> that's bad. Uh, just going viral. All night long. Good retreat. That's cool. I feel like teleports would be really good. We have like sugary trait into gadget for guaranteed lethal. I, I think let's just let's just do this. It's a lot of damage. Dragon, I don't know. It's dragon. No, dragon loses here. Cob cannon. Cob combo. Cob 
I'm pretty sure teleportation zombie makes it lethal though. Oh, I kind of wish he would block this lane. Yes! Wow, I think he just threw that. <laughs> That's fine. Are you gonna get this one? Oh, it's it's not actually lethal anymore. That's sad. Oh, plus he's healing. Never mind. Try hard. Thanks for the raid. Thirty-seven. Oh yeah, it's definitely not lethal because of the heals. I think I have to do this so it doesn't heal that much. Is that insane? Thank you. I don't know. And I'll just play this. I don't know. Yeah, it's not close to lethal, but... It would have been nice proccing the block there, to be honest. Be fair. Okay, so teleportation zombie. And... I don't know. Hope he doesn't have Grave Flick, exactly. Okay. So it's just a problem that of like Godify. Freeze. Okay. It actually makes this easier to kill without him blocking here. So we play this one. And we're going viral. I think I'll just like Sugary Tree Lane 1. Seems right. We want it ease. And we'll we'll invest this like here, because it's not getting godified. Well it can't get godified anyway. Well this one, well we're proccing the block this one. This one will be good. A lot of bullseye damage. Particularly because we have like a gadget scientist incoming. It's pretty good. Kitchen sink got killed by cop cannon. We actually can't gadget here, but whatever. I think we're still okay. <laughs> I think if he plays dragon, we just play like sugary treat. He can't kill a 311, right? So we sugary treat and gadget scientist. Easy. Okay, this guy's just trolling. It doesn't matter. We're still gonna win. <laughs> he, he's killing this one? Oh, great. <laughs> this doesn't matter at all. <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna teleport in, guys. <laughs> what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below what you think our play is gonna... I don't care. It doesn't matter. It's all bullseye. <laughs> yeah, we got this guy. <laughs> First, we have to get more treats. Yes. As many treats as possible. <laughs> Die! That's 22 damage just from this lane! <laughs> it easily did 50 damage that turn. I'll take it. Hell yeah! <laughs> that is how the deck goes. Was Stompadon even involved in any of that? No, it was just Trick or Treater. I think Trick or Treater is really the carry for this deck. I should try this deck without Stompadon now that I think of it. Maybe Stompadon and Trick or Treater, because then what happens if you don't get Trick or Treater? Yeah, I get Stompadon. I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't, I don't know any things. How is Stompin' on not a word saved in my Chrome's dictionary already? Probably because I used, like, opera for years. Paste. Alright. Uh, da, da, da. Do we need this card? Do we never mulligan out? <laughs> I need teleport. I feel like we need more teleports. What would I get rid of? 
We don't really need the genetic experiment. It doesn't really do enough. Yeah, this is fine. We. That's cool. Should I even play this, or should I save it for after the stomping on this? Deck definitely needs more teleports. It's also an extra trick. Kind of cool. I don't really need that. I don't know. This will be a base for like. It, it, it'll end up being a base for um for whatever baby shark, whatever her name is, uh, elderberry. <laughs> I don't know why baby shark. I don't know why. Elderberry. So I guess I'll go after it. We got this. Yeah, why is it all roses? At least that guy didn't have... Um, I'll probably just burn going viral here to keep the two, two damage bullseye going, please. Yeah, why did he play a, 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 an aggressive card that you have to be playing momentum every turn and then just like, no, nothing. I don't understand that. He's just running Haunted Pumpkin in a late game deck. That's not a good idea. You're just giving me card advantage. Look at this card. Late game that. Bitch. I don't know. Life is a hard. <laughs> That's not doing it. <laughs> What's better? I think the rocket's better than the alien is, right? Alright, bye. We can get a, a thick dude if we want. Should I just play this? <laughs> Is this hilarious just to spam on the board? He already used a superpower, he can't really do much. This card with bullseyes, actually. Maybe that's how they'll fix Portal Technician. Just give it bullseye. It deserves it. Or Portal Tech. Oh no, it's a heal deck. Well, it's another heal deck. You guys know what this means. I don't know what it means. Uh, either treat we get is playable this turn and kill this thing, so. Yeah, I like this play. Bruh. For real? That was... That was mean. That was wrong. He's gonna clap it? And we have no answer, either. Uh, I think we have to kill this card, though. It's okay. He'll, he'll clap one of my really strong cards on the board. And I don't care. See what I care. Look, th th is this game harder to win? Any harder to win yet? Not really. Oh, plus it, <laughs> it didn't do anything, <laughs> idiot. Clap, clap. You're not even good. Uh, how do I deal with this clap? Do I still have no way of dealing with it? Gadget scientist. No, no, no. I can, I can get a, I can get a treat if I. I kind of wanted to stomp it on, but. Uh, I should probably play around Brainana too. Bungie! Oh my god, Bungie would have been so good. <laughs> okay, even if this Stompadon dies, I just buff the trillion cards. It's okay. Ow. Should have tried to rock it there, right? Eh? Well, this card lives. It's a 50 50 on the card. Okay. See, he missed, idiot. <laughs> it's fine. Life is a highway. I'm gonna ride it all night long. What did it to do? So we can go three plus a trick. Is there a way to play two tricks here? No. I think I'm always gonna commit this because it just allows us to put a lot more momentum on the board. Maybe we want board space though. Five. <laughs> Four, five, six. Oh, this looks good. We don't really need to use them. There you go. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, five, five attack gadget scientists will save us. I hope. 
Cha-cha! Uh, no, we have to trigger the dino -er. Yes. He didn't kill my stuff, but on you fool! You fool! You... This guy, man, this guy... Yeah, is that... Whoa, it's so close to lethal! So close! I mean, I have to kill the dragon, right? I might as well do this. Get a we little a extra leap. damage in. We need a leap. Yay. What do I get? Let's go dance one. Is that good? I can't tell if that's good. We also don't want to do a lot of damage and let him, like, do the heal thing. I think I'll just play this. Maybe he'll play a nut or a berry this turn. Why not? <laughs> the great Zucchini. That's okay. Running dragon Zucchini. We still have 12 health and an 8-8 on the board. And this this thing's gone. I'm really happy this card's gone. That was the thing that this 12 health would just make make that 12 health disappear. Very quickly. So how do we do this now? We have to proc the block and then play one of these, I guess? Alright, this looks good. If he plays dragon, I can't really play anything. Could you not do that, please? So, guys. <laughs> so. <laughs> we need, uh... I don't even know what I'm looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. Yes, another going viral. <laughs> well, Godify doesn't... It, Godify screws this up. I think this is fine. That's probably the best case scenario. Should I rock wall this one? Because I really like the overshoot bullseye. The damage coming in, and it's a science card too. Alright, let's do it. So, if he gets like Mog, it hits this. Oh, also he has to not roll a 1. Yeah, get wrecked. Easy. Now we get 10 damage coming in. Weed Whack don't do a damn thing. Freeze would save him. And Goat would save him. And Mog would save him. Did he use a superpower? He's like Weed Whack, right? I don't remember. I don't track superpowers. Just, I don't I don't do that. Not like my thing. So we can play anything here, but what what to what's the purpose? I think I'm just gonna go for rockets and stuff. If you play Dragon, I can rocket it here. Allosaurus, we can rocket that. That we can't rock it. That is... <laughs> I think we're still good. I'm pretty sure the gadgets still just like win. These trade. Yeah, we have we have we have space now. So he'll he'll heal for a little bit. He'll up to like. Yeah. Oh, that's very lethal. <laughs> Extremely lethal. Well, guys, we could BM him too. <laughs> Look at this. Whoops! I missed lethal. No, no, I didn't. I didn't miss lethal at all. I'm so stuck. Ah, and all of a sudden, this deck is not only 4-0, oh, but we're demolishing people. I mean, that was harsh. We're BMing like we're, we were doing like twice as much damage as we need to. <laughs> Think about it. That turn, just off the bat, we got 16 to face on like 6 health. That was crazy. Yeah, I know. If he had, like, one little buddy, we probably would have lost that game, not gonna lie. Yes! Radioactive, welcome. Welcome to all the new people and the raiders. And... Thanks again, try hard. My friend! Alright. Okay. Porno. We're going 10 games today. This is annoying. Annoying. Boing. Boing. I don't know what to do here. Do I just play this? You know what? It's just crazy. This kind of controls him. Because it'll like kill this and then splash. Shut up and take my money! Dad was stomping on, saying, oh shit, I have to redeem myself. Exactly. 
Wait, what? Stamina, that's amazing. I'll just, I'll just do this for a card. Why not? Yeah, no sign of stomping on this game, but I feel like this might be. And he didn't have a berry blast, which is a good sign. I feel like this might be the 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 game where we win with just traits and a gadget. I'd love to actually have a game like that. Just to see that work. That's, this, guy, this guy is weird. Uh, the teleportation zombie is definitely less important than this card that's giving us the treats. So that's awesome. Get another healthy treat, love to see it. Let's see if we can start really buffing some of these science cards, yeah. He kills his guy too. I guess the guy goes down to 3 2, it's okay. So, like, 4 5 looks pretty good. We don't really need to commit this, and it means we can, like, Rolling Stone and Sugary Trait. This is probably better, just to play you. Might as well see what we get. Maybe we'll get a Bullseye version of this guy. That's kind of awesome, Bullseye Electrician. I feel like all these cards, when they get Bullseye, they all of a sudden become pretty decent for a 3 cost. Okay. Oh, wow. See, so th in the same turn, you spam four one ones. Oh, please don't rain. No, 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 no. Don't rain, don't rain. I was thinking we can just Rolling Stone this, but... He totally has rain. <laughs> that guy has rain. It's like, it's like, not even close. Okay, so we're gonna hit him with this. Wow, that was harsh. Just thinking of rolling stoning this and clearing his field, but that doesn't work out at all. Uh, we have to keep these cards going too, so. I probably should have buffed because of the gadget science. It's a sh probably should have buffed this one. I don't know, the treats are pretty important too. Doesn't really matter. He hasn't, there's been no sign of him having this damage we're taking too. We heal it. I think we're okay. Let's see what we get here. We're just chump locking and conjuring. I'm gonna make this play mostly about making a buff. That is a cool card. Let's see what else we get. Secret Agent? Secret Agent with Gadget Scientist? Looks pretty cool. Bruh. I think because this is buffed already... Maybe I'll just Secret Agent this one. It's kinda good. And also Secret Agent the Electrician, which is... kinda cool. There's no world that we have, like, lethal, right? Wait, wait, wait. If this goes up to 7, 7, seven. There, you know, I, I could have scooped this and then gone for lethal. Well, I can anyway do that. I can deal with the gadget, but then, no, well, we'd have to count. No, this proc in the block. No, that's, never. Ignore me. There's a gadget. This protected is pretty good here. Wish there was more of a way to break through and open up another lane. I don't know if spending six on this is right. I think going face is gonna be better. He can't kernel corn here. I think this is the play. Let's we'll open this guy up. Double grapes. That's hilarious. Uh, this is weird, but I think this way makes the this way makes the gadget scientist always be lethal next turn. Uh, this will make it not get meteored. So it always clears the lane. Yeah, that's lethal. Just think about it. If now, if you if you if you try to super this, then he can just get his spit out super and block this, and then 
then this will die and we don't have a gadget science. The gadget science only does two. But this way, and if you play protected, it also does nothing works. But this way it's guaranteed now. Because, oh, I didn't think about bubble, but he, he messed it up. <laughs> it didn't do the right play. The gadget wins. Easy. <laughs> you know, we've never really done in the stream a deck with growing a genetic experiment and then just boom, gadget scientists. This is the deck for it. It's just genetic experiment treats to keep it alive and it's growing insane. And yeah, going viral and gadget, that's all you need. We could do other decks without Stompadon. on. <laughs> with the genetic in it. I'm just thinking, like, do we need more teleports? It just seems like there's so many times we need more teleports. Is anything not working? The genetic was so good there, but I almost want to take it out for more teleports, man. I just feel like everything in this deck becomes so much better when you teleport it in, including, like, gadget scientists. What could I... I don't want to remove any of this other removal. I mean, we don't need you. Well, it's a really good card with stop. I mean, teleport's probably better, though. You know what? Teleporting into Stompadon means there's a guaranteed thing that happens. Should do it like this. Is that crazy, though? To have this little early game? The middle manager is really good with Stompadon, too. I'm not really sure. Yeah, we're 5-0, and though, man. Let's try it like this. We can always change it back. How come when I do the really sweaty deck, so I'm actually, so I'll play the <laughs> history here. Yesterday, and you're not going to see this if you're watching on YouTube, yesterday I streamed like a really sweaty pirate deck. Uh, like Infinity Pirates with Con Man Pirates and just like Sugary Treat and Cowboy as the finisher. And I thought that would be amazing. I made the decks, the bets like 9 out of 10. We ended up going like 6 and 4. All of a sudden, this today, you know what? I shouldn't jinx it because yesterday we were also 6 and 0 and then we lost to like rows three times in a row. I don't know why today all of a sudden it's like. See, this is cool. I can just go 2 3. I think that's what I'm going to do. I mean, I can play this on 1 as well, man. I can go 1 2. Eh, let's not re let him remove 1 with like a Galacta. This is also cool. Like I can go, I can go. Yeah, I'm gonna actually do a real one, real game now where we just are growing these genetic experiments. I'm gonna just play two of them here. He's not gonna, usually not gonna have an answer to both. And we rock wall, just whatever, whatever gets in trouble gets rock wall. It's a really strong play. You could berry blast this middle one would be a good play. Thank you, been Al Manger, old while, school. Been keeping up on the YouTube. Keep Thank up you. The great work. Yeah, that's this one for sure. This will end up growing into a lot more value. It's not just five health. It'll be a lot more. And it's still at four, so it's at a berry blast range. Love that. Ooh, stomp it on? Do we play it dry or teleport it in? Can spit out do four damage? You used Meteor already. Is there a world that I that I don't I don't have any minions in hand though. I kinda wanna grow this card. I don't have to. No, and he can deal one day. He can listen. If he No, no I'm just gonna play this since he can kill the teleportation zombie so easily. Yeah, these games are going a little slow, right? Very blast. And that. So you don't get anything. That's too bad. I was just afraid of him berry blasting this and Dubai. You know, he would have. It would have been berry blast, developed one of these, and then we stomped it on next turn. This card dies. I, I think it's still stomp it on teleport because we don't have any minions in hand, man. And I really want to keep this card growing. We don't have middle managers to go with this, which is kind of sad. Maybe teleporting there was. No, that doesn't kill it. That doesn't do anything, though. Well, it kills the Stompin' on. Can we get one minion, please? <laughs> yes! You and I. 
think this is going pretty well. But now what do I do? <laughs> oh, no. All right, we're playing dry stompadons and using teleport to activate it. That's our that's our day today. Bro, no, oh, my God, dear God, good combo. Healthy treat solves it though. Do we want the Stompadon to live or this genetic? This is actually kind of tough. This takes five damage exactly. It'll die next turn. I mean, he's not going to be able to remove this. So playing the going virals next turn. This will do six. Nah, let's let's save Stompadon. If we get like a cosmic scientist off the top of our deck. Eh? Or a trick or treater, maybe. Fine. Four seven against four seven. Uh -huh. Monster. We can also like top deck a rocket, maybe. Ugh. All right, it's just double going viral. That's our life. Actually, if we get if we play double going viral and get healthy tree, now it's still not enough. If we play going viral and get rocket, though. God. <laughs> it turns into a 7 too. It had a buff because there was a reincarnation. Yeah, that makes sense. So he's getting in some pretty heavy damage here. Oh my gosh, it actually happened. Again, this goes up to 7. Uh, not enough. I don't think this 5 6 gadget's just gonna do, be able to do anything here. Again, this does nothing. We're definitely saving this card, and we're gonna be down to oh, taking so much heat. I think we just lose this game. I don't know how this is the one we love. We're just bricked. I mean, maybe middle manager. Look, what was better that game? Middle manager or teleport, man? Definitely middle manager. All right, I'll switch it back. Honestly, getting rid of middle manager probably lost us that game. Imagine all those teleports were middle managers. Yup. It's called being too greedy. So we have to do this play just to live, and it's very sad. If between these two cards he has no minion or sham rocket. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. We did. Alright, I'll switch it back. We switch those back. I was thinking teleport stop it on, but it wasn't worth it. The middle manager is a necessary part of this. It gives you, it gives you like, I don't know, puts a guy on the board. It doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> it takes one game to convince me. That's our first loss too. We were going for the 10 and 0. See, this is when it all goes to SH1T. We're gonna start playing against Guardian decks now. It's gonna, it's gonna all go downhill. Watch. Where's my middle manager? Going back. I can just change this back like this. There, it's beautiful now. Deck needed middle manager. This the stop it on was too weak without middle manager. It's as simple as that. It was too many tricks. Also, I mean, we did We had the middle managers would have been buffed too. See, see, see. Uh, the good news is that this deck, this version of the deck is still undefeated. <laughs> I'll just cut that game out of the YouTube video. No difference. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. We're keeping it in. It's 5-1. and one. And Mick Joe. I know someone who wouldn't think that joke was very funny. <laughs> Why do I keep bringing him up? You and I, bro. I'll probably just stick a middle manager in front of that. I don't know. I don't really care about taking two damage, to be honest. Nah, screw it. We're saving it for a turn five stomp it on. It's three, four, maybe a treat, and then five. Or something like that. Bro. It's okay. We got health. We got all kinds of stuff.
These guys. They don't. How would they know? I get out. We have to keep that game in to show that. That, uh. <laughs> to show that the middle manager is better than teleport. Or else, what's the point? I like teleportation zombie here a lot, actually. Yeah, let's see it there. I'll probably just healthy treat like thing for. Bro, what is this? What is this crap? This is bad. <laughs> That's what it is. It's very, very bad. <laughs> this is such a pain in the ass. What am I gonna do? <laughs> Ow. Citron too strong. It's just too strong of a hero. What can I say? Uh, no brain nana, so we're going for teleport. He's probably gonna put two guys in lane four anyway. Ow. Lane three, I mean. Bruh. I wish I could just play heal here and get a tree, but this thing is scamming us. It's too strong. That would have been nice. So we have to just chump block this 3 nut deck until we win. Essentially, that's what's going on. Yes. Here, let's see if we get another one. We need like a cheap card from this. A 1 or a 2 cost. Please. Yes. Does this live? No, it's two, and... T oh, no, wait, we don't have a trick-or-treater anymore. What am I saying? I'd love to try to heal, but... Should I try to go in viral here? <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll just do this. Stop it on, I don't know. Yeah, let's just do this. Watch him have nothing. He just has Shamrock in it, he's Yes! He actually had no answers, and we killed him. Oh, we're actually in this game now. Let's go. Why is he running Planet of the Grapes? I'll ask. That dies. We don't need any of that stuff anymore. All right, guys. Time for Comeback City. Two, three... I don't know. Something like that? Either one or two. If we have a really good sugary treat, we'll do it. If not, we'll just one. Hope for a healthy treat. Getting some more healthier would be nice, too. We need to play around dragons, though. We might just have Brain Nana and he's saving it. Bro! Okay, well, we're healing. At least that dies. At least it doesn't die. At least, come on! <laughs> These gravestones keep their stomping on buffs, right? Better. If they didn't, that would make stomping on not a good card in this deck. Okay, this is fine. We heal ourselves. We activate this fool. And we have this, uh, look at the, look at the... He doesn't draw a card. At least an idiot. Rock wall! Uh, I guess I'll do this. Trick or treater, healthy trait, and we'll just keep growing things. No, there's a rocket. That's nice. Should I play around dragon? I can't play around dragon. <laughs> this thing will cost ten. <laughs> Doom true. Okay, that's fine. At least it didn't kill this one. I, I think that's actually okay. Did we just OTK him here? Is that the story? Not. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Six. Seven. It's 14. Plus five. Are we one off lethal? Oh no, but it grows by one. Yeah, that's guaranteed lethal, guys. That's guaranteed lethal because it grows. It would have been 19 damage. But it's 20. It's a clean 20. Get wrecked.
<laughs> Man, that game was not looking good for a second. 8 plus 5 is 13. <laughs> I love how the gadget scientist has 5 attack too. Oh, that was harsh. Come on, man. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Highlight match? Highlight match? Highlight match? That was a real comeback, too. That was a real comeback. Yeah, highlight match. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. Damn, there's so many highlight intro worthy. <laughs> worthy stuff. I'll have that the highlight match, and the game three will be the highlight intro. Alright, we're good. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Trying to absolutely popping off. I need a mulligan. I need a mulligan. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> it's a perfect dance. This is such a good card against the uh, grass knuckles. Oh yeah, we got this. He also doesn't have really any answer to stomping on, so... I really hope he doesn't have multiple click bees, but I guess that's just PvZ heroes. Like, you never want to be against multiple click bees. Somehow, whenever they have that first one, that second one's just like, Whee! Okay, so this happens. Can I get can I get a break for once? That's fine. I'd rather see this than second click be for real. Yeah, we <laughs> well, he had twenty health. He had twenty health. That was crazy. He can't really deal three damage. So uh we'll teleport this in and stuff. That's yeah, okay. This one, we definitely rolling some this one. I don't care. This can die. This will go like wherever. It doesn't matter. So we teleport in, dump it on on four, and play this dry on five, and it will win this game. I'm feeling pretty confident. This again, unless he buffs this, it's not really gonna do anything. If we need to an emergency, be placed, you know, fertilize or something, we'll just chop this. Go from there. Bro, that's cringe. Bro, that's cringe. It's the double strike deck, guys. Listen, he's got Ohio P. He's got all kinds of stuff here. We're just gonna take out the 2-2, two -two, which is anyway the best like the best trade. He'll draw one card, I don't care. We'll kill this thing. Bruh. Do we block, please? Yes! I'll be holding that. Too much a whole stomping on charge. That's ridiculous. Should I have used it on this to prevent two damage? No. We'll definitely have a better one. So now comes this now. Look at these, look at these cards. Oh, this is just lovely. So we have Chop and we have Rustful Super here to charge this up again. <laughs> uh, we're 6-1, and one, yes. Sorry, I was too excited about the, all the stuff happening. Thank you. What is what? What is Bra doing? Uh, so Chop is very good. I guess we'll just get this one, right? We need a leap. We need a leap. Stop Thank me, you, Daddy. Bob Huddy. I'd love a healthy treat. Would have been insane there, but this is okay. Yeah, when the Stompadon gets like four or five charges with a bunch of cards in hand, there's just no way, man. Oh, we actually conjured this one? Oh, he conjured this. I thought it was another deck one. Okay. So, just going viral. Hopefully it doesn't have too many more P's. Bob Huddy for 14 months? Jeez. Jesus. 
He's not. Oh, he does have another P. That's okay. We don't need this to live. Uh, a rocket would be good here. Thought Dick, I haven't like. I don't, have we seen a rocket scientist yet? <laughs> They're in the deck somewhere, but the science. We're so cool. Now they're going viral when it just won us the game straight up. Whee! Oh, that was close. Uh, we should probably... Oh! No, we have 16 damage. Never mind. I was like trying to figure out what to do this turn. No, that's what we're doing. That'll do it, guys. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm so happy this is working. This is one of the most insane streams we've ever done, for real. Just the level. Just the level that we are kicking people's ass. What, what, that guy had like 16. How much health did he have? He had like 13 health left. That was just harsh. Oh, these these wins are just insane, guys. This is crazy. I love how this is. I mean, we've had this idea for years of stomping on science. Honestly, it's the trick or treater. It's the thing that pushed, put, pulled this deck together. The trick or treater has been the MVP, even more than the stomping on for real. A lot of these wins with the buff minions have just been a bunch of treats we conjured. Trigger Treater Man is just coming up on our radar now. This is so cool. I almost think this is Trigger Treater Science with Stomp It On rather than Stomp It On Science with Trigger Treater. But, like, oh. This has just been insane, guys. I think Rolling Stone is a good card to keep. I don't even think we keep this right now. In this situation in this hand and no other minion to buff it I, i'd rather just mulligan for a teleportation zombie or a trick or treat or a stomp it on or something i am gonna rolling stone this because i really don't want to play against multiple click these so yeah this has been no the answer is yes already but we're going for the nine and one we'll see man oh this is already even if we lose the next two games this is going on youtube believe you me so choose prediction outcome Seven or I was going for seven out of ten because I was like, yeah, this deck maybe. This has been stupid. Just dumb. Do I play this? I think I do. Stomp has been good. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just I think the trigger cheater has been slightly better. See if he has like a black eyed pea to kill this. That's Honestly, he plays a 2-1. We got a card out of it. We'll see how useful final mission will be. We have some some cards that can get final missions here, though. We'll just go for, like... I'm just trying to think, where is the... Where is the... Uh, Alright, this thing. Where will the genetic experiment go now? Because it can't go to three because of the super. It can't go to one. Maybe I'll play a superpower and get away with it. We're still going to healthy treat here. Look at this card. I'll take I'll take cards that are gonna okay, he blew a card draw card back into our hand. Great. The man is desperate. And he's running Spirus. This is actually kinda harsh. Wait, we're gonna have to do something about this. I'd really like to develop this chemist, but I'm not really sure how. Alright, I think it's gonna be like you. Oh, teacher throws a screwball into this whole turn. Now we can, like, final mission and healthy treat. I'm going to try to, like, final mission something. That's crazy. No, I didn't play around that, though. I'm stupid. I didn't even think Shrinking Violet. I, I don't know why, because the guy's running Spyrus and Snoopy. That's why. I was like, he's not going to be running good cards. All right. This is fine. I have to stay alive. Uh, developing this chemist here is probably a really good idea. I think we'll just do it here. <laughs> he knows. The man knows. Chemist is a really good... It's just a big bullseye trick-or-treater. Which is a science card, so we can buff it, it too. What do we get here? Oh, weed spray? That's like weed spray here. It actually negates this lane. It turns this lane to two damage. Wow, weed spray is a really good draw. Thank <laughs> you. 
Life is a highway. So we can sell weed spray and like how do you treat this one and keep it alive? What do we get? Cry over it? Yeah, we're good. Brain Nana, I don't think that really does enough because it doesn't even kill the chemist. So he basically plays your Brain Nana into a bad trade. We're still chump blocking this lane. He gets two damage as a profit and loses a trade of a 4 3 against a 4 5. I don't know about that play, man. Life is a highway, I'm gonna ride it on. Oh my gosh, look at the paparazzi. More like pagarazzi. Paparazzi's gonna pop up. Yes, the chop. Love it. I love it. This is huge. This is tremendous. I will weed spray these just so he doesn't do some burst damage with the second thing. And we'll give this some health so we have a 4 4 and look at the 5 4 on the board. We got this one, guys. <laughs> This man's got two cards, we got eight full block meter. He's got a left. I'd rather have eight full than eleven empty. You guys, look at the going virals too. We'll play around removal, so we'll put another minion in the field for the double going viral here instead of just buffing these minions, which would also win. Yeah. Cosmic from cosmic, it's okay. I probably should actually go middle lane because we don't want to take five damage. He has to somehow rush us, which he's not gonna do. I I'm overthinking this. We're gonna win this game, guys. <laughs> We're gonna win right here. That's guaranteed lethal because it's all bullseye. Easiest win in my life. I should have uh, final vision into phase for the win. But again, look at his health. We're doing 20 damage. We're doing 17. <laughs> Crazy. Bonk. This shit bonk. What is this death? How is this deck the one that's going 8-1? It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. The Spirus was good. <laughs> How was the Spirus? The Spirus didn't do anything there. He didn't do it. He, he, you have the information, but can you do anything with it? It costs a card to have the information. Spirus not a good card. I'm just trying to think how would we even play it. So nothing on one, two, three, four. Ugh. I don't know. Is this genetic worth? You know what? We're going to draw some more cards. It'll be worth hanging around in this hand. It's okay. Yeah, this deck is absolute fire. This deck is smoking is what it's doing. <laughs> These wins are just so harsh. Like teleportation zombie? I don't know. No, we we have to make him play around. Like I don't want to play teleportation zombie against a free. We don't have an answer to twin sunflower, but I want him to at least be afraid of it. Okay, that was bad. It's okay. We slow play. <laughs> Go for the ten and one. Well, we already have it recorded. It's in the books. Our pal. This this healthy tree can go a long way. I'm actually tempted to go after the Triceratops. I think that's what I'm gonna do. This is a very strong play regardless. So he could grow his Triceratops here, but you know, honestly, in that case, if he grows it by one by playing Photosynthesizer, we just super it. No! 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 This is not a fair card! I know I run in every Guardian deck, but that's because it's not fair! That's not... <laughs> that's not a good card design. This card should cost two! How is it one for one? It doesn't make sense, Popcat. Now what do I do? 
Okay, we do this and, and healthy treat. Hopefully he doesn't play a second forget-me-nuts. Or grow this, or destroy my gravestone, or just anything good. Okay, we're not going to win this game because he's had an answer to everything we've done. Uh, actually, that slows him down enough that maybe we still... Maybe this is still pretty good. We're stomping, huh? But I can't do anything with it. Okay, we'll set this up first. Can you? Can I have one turn without you having an answer to me? I want one turn that I'm off the hook. Develop your own tempo. Play Allosaurus. I don't care. Can I have one? Can I have one turn? I want one turn without him having a silver bullet up my ass. Holy shit! Come on, man. I want one turn. I want one turn. All I want. Oh! Do I even go after this or should I go after the Triceratops? I'll go after after this one. Alright. Should I play this card? No, I'll save this for this stomping on. I want one turn. I want one turn. One time. You like little buddy won't help it. Yes. So do I do healthy treat or do I do going viral here? I don't like the going viral. The healthy treats are gonna be a little bit better later. It's taking a lot of damage, but at least we can actually play these guys. Gotta go far away. Oh. Probably was on the top of our deck anyway. Definitely no one too going viral right now. You know I have to kill this. This is still rough. Oh, we'll block this turn. This could take damage. Right. If he kills the 4 1, then this actually grows. Mechasaur, that's pretty cool. I think I'm just gonna play both of these and take the buffs. Uh, we, all, we didn't get any minions, though, that's very sad. So if he hits this professional zombie, then this dies. Which I guess is okay. Yeah, it's full power cringe night. <laughs> what am I supposed to do is correct, Kramer. Ah, uh, okay. We're we're playing PvZ Heroes now. That's good. Oh before? <laughs> like I wanna play the game. Okay, this is fine. This is definitely a, a comeback in the making. You know, we got a nice thick uh bullseye science minion in our hands. That's okay. Oh, ow. That's not okay. We're gonna need like a rocket. Uh, we could we could block and get chop here. He didn't actually do the thing. Chop. That works. We take those. It's just a lot less damage now to take. This is rough. Oh. This is rough. This would be nice if we could develop it, but I don't know, man. I mean, it's as good as anything. He just rockets us, but he kind of does that anyway, right? I'm going to go with my intuition and play around Sham Rocket. We have to chump block that lane. I need something that at least kills this, so the healthy treat will do that. We'll make, and it'll make this live soon. Another one? That could have gone a lot worse. Uh, is there any card I would... Well, I would play Rolling Stone from this, so I might as well... Alright. So blocking it's not a rolling stone. Healthy treat actually keeps this lane chumped up. I don't think the main thing we need is chump blockers right now. 
Probably just need face damage. We don't have like a science card, so a top deck gadget doesn't really do anything. We're probably just taking five and five. I don't know, I guess we just need a rocket scientist. Maybe this dying so we could develop this would have been good. Oh, <laughs> nice stats. Nice. We need an answer to the strike through. He doesn't have a lot in his hand, but. I mean, these are frenzies, so we could just try to win. We probably should just do that. I think we just go for the win. He hasn't, he probably doesn't have like a third Grave Buster, right? Yeah, we just go for the win. We have, we have a lot of damage on only 8 health. So if we can get one more turn without an answer, that Strike Through minion would also screw us up completely here. We don't have an answer to another Strike Through minion. Even a Dry Elderberry just wins. Cobb cannon. Huh? Cobb cannon. If we get sugary tree, it's not even close still, right? This will go up to six, seven, eight, nine. No, we're not close. We need 12. There's no way to do damage to his face here. Really. That's as close as we get. That's pretty damn close. Quick, secret agent. <laughs> Escape. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, we take the L. Maybe we should have developed the Mondo and looked for an Undying Pharaoh. I think we had a shot there because we had another Trick or Treater with Frenzy. So if we didn't have Top Cannon, we, we actually had a really decent chance of winning this adventure. It wasn't meant to be. Oh, 8 and 2? Alright, that's, that, that's pretty good. <laughs> Enough answers will beat this deck too. Enough Gravestone, Gravestones, and uh, Grave Busters, and... And forget me nuts and cob cannons will beat this deck. What a surprise. <laughs> you know, so it's nice to know the deck is not invincible. All right, guys, I'm going to end right there. That was 10 games. That's as much. It's almost midnight here. I'm streaming late today. Uh, it's definitely as much as uh, energy as I have. That was a great stream, though. I mean, come on, man. That was harsh. These wins were, were they were ridiculous. We were doing like. We were doing, we had an average of like 30 damage every game. And with the Stomp It On Science deck, of course, with treats, of course that's the deck. This is really, really good, and I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, it's definitely going on YouTube. I will see you in the next one. Peace, this is Ryan.